Hello, I'm James Cronin. I'd like to take this opportunity on the retirement of Dr. Marion McCarthy as the Interim Vice President for Teaching and Learning and former Director of CERTL, the Centre for the Integration of Research, Teaching and Learning here at University College Cork, to reflect on some of the key moments in her life in scholarship through a tour of some of the key publications in her working library here in the West Lodge at UCC. A book probably everyone who knows or has been taught by Marion is familiar with is the work of Howard Gardner. When this book was first published in 1983, it helped educators to move away from merely seeing intelligence as IQ to seeing learner intelligence as multivalent, as varied. And Marion has developed this through her interest in the arts and aesthetics here at University College Cork and continues to do so in her work on universal design for learning. Connected with this is a recent study on multiple intelligences around the world in which Marion and Ornia Highland, who were so key in bringing the work of Howard Gardner to Cork, have reviewed their impact and the role of teaching for understanding within an Irish context. When Marion visited and studied and taught at Harvard in the mid 90s, she was inspired and continues to be inspired by the place. This anthology entitled College in a Yard has reminiscences from alumni of the university. One of them includes Caspar Weinberger. His essay is entitled Depart Better to Serve Thy Country and it reflects on the American notion of service and citizenship. And the idea that education is not just for professional advantage but it is also for the benefit of society as a whole. This idea of education as related to benefiting society is a crucial idea in the work of John Dewey. And if one was to draw a line in teaching for understanding that at one point, at the seeding point of that line, would be the writings of John Dewey and the tradition of the American pragmatists, many of them based in and around Harvard. But on this side of the world, the work of writers like John Berger were crucial in helping educators to think differently about texts and particularly the visual text of the painting or the performative text of theatre and the arts. And this is a crucial insight that Marion has brought to higher education in her interest in the philosophy of the arts and how the role of aesthetics can help develop the whole person. She has demonstrated this through her collaborations and work with Fiona Carney and others in the Glucksmann Gallery here at University College Cork. A key understanding in teaching for understanding is that education is part of society and culture and ideas are socially formed and culturally mediated. These are central ideas of the work of Jerome Bruner, 
one of Marion's favourite writers. In her seminars, particularly in the master seminars, Marion continues to remind us that universities are not ivory towers, that we need to move beyond the ivory tower, but she also reminds us that we need to remember that education is about the person and that we are engaging human beings and at the heart of Marion's teaching philosophy it are deep humanistic values. A key role that Marion has played is thinking about teaching and learning as researchable and the role that Marion has played in higher education is to integrate more fully teaching, learning and research. She continuously reminds us that teaching is a form of action research, that we are engaging in questions or problems that are not just pertinent to how we teach a discipline, but also help us understand our teaching of the discipline better and also how we can better research within the domain of knowledge that we call disciplinary knowledge. These ideas, returning again to the work of Jerome Bruner, have helped shape our own understanding of recording the trackways of learning and teaching, which we began to do here in Sirtle from uh, about 2010 and continue to do so to this day. Returning to Howard Gardner, in recent work by Howard Gardner, he reminds us of the role of teaching and learning as connected to value, to professional value and to fostering good work. And here the Sirtle fellows and colleagues that we work with at University College Cork and abroad are interested not just in teaching information but also teaching for formation. And this is a key insight that Marion has shared and fostered with us over the years. And finally, an idea that is central to Marion's way of being in education is thinking about our own history. That University College Cork has a deep and long history of community engagement, which we continue to develop and foster today. In our strategic plan, we speak about the university in community, of community and for community. And Marion helps us to remember that we also need to be aware of our own histories so that we can make informed decisions about our present and our future. Thank you.